But what we're seeing now in September of 2023 is insane. And I'm getting goosebumps right now. <laughs> this is the greatest cosmic accident and coincidence in all time, which would be mathematically impossible as a statistic. It would be the statistics of this happening at this time would be, pun intended, astronomically impossible. All right? There is, and if you'll look on Stellarium, there is a comet that is about right here. And the name of that comet is, are you ready for this? Child. That is the name of the comet. I can't make this stuff up. There is a comet named Child, or an asteroid, I'm calling it a comet, it's actually an asteroid. And this asteroid Child, it used to be like just up here, and it very seldom moved throughout all history. You can go back thousands of years, and it didn't do much. And then all of a sudden, it starts moving. And all of a sudden, and this is the only time in history when it moves, it goes over here, and it goes into the womb of Virgo. And that's around September, oh, I want to say somewhere between the 17th to the 19th of 2023. Now you look at Revelation chapter 12, and you look at this sign, and you go, Whoa, it just got better. <laughs> it just got more amazing. It, what? How is there this thing called child? And, and, and who named it? Something like 1920 or something. Some woman saw this asteroid and she goes, well, I don't know what to name it. I guess I'll name it child. What, what are the odds of that happening? And then it just happens to come in here and go right into there and look just like the Revelation 12. Sign. That's an accident, right? There's no coincidence. There's no God people say, and yet you look at it and it's like there's a red flashing neon sign in the heavens saying, I am God, look at me. I don't understand how people can deny God in the Bible. So it, it says there appeared a great wonder in heaven. Now these stars aren't there anymore, but there are other ones up there that make 12. And then you have child. Now there are these other asteroids that are all coming around here too, that are all in this area. And they all have different names. There's one down here called Yehushua, Jesus. <laughs> so you're looking at the stars and you're going, wow, there's a child coming out. And there's a, a thing there called Yehushua, which sounds like Jesus. There's another one called United Nations. That's the name of the asteroid. There's one called Ukraine. And you're looking at this and you're like, wow, what's happened in the news? They're talking a lot about Ukraine. There's one called Israel. Uh, there's one called Laban. Laban, I know that story in the Bible, seven years. Well, that has something to do with seven years. There's one called Elijah. Well, there's the two witnesses that show up in the tribulation, Moses and Elijah. But there's one up here named Heber, or Hebi. That reminds me of Hebrew. That sounds pretty close. H-E-B, H-E-B. So you look at this sign in the heavens, and you begin to focus in on all the different names of all the different stars, and you get a picture of, man, this can't be coincidence. Uh, maybe God is saying, now this is the true sign, and that the King James Bible is absolute truth, and when it says child, it meant the asteroid named child. I don't know, but I'm thinking to myself, wow, coincidence? I think not. I think not. So was the September 23rd, 2017 the real revelation sign? Well, it sure looked like it to a lot of people. And something good happened for Israel. But here we see something that looks even closer to the Revelation 12 side. And the name is child of the thing going through there. Question. Does that mean something good is going to happen for Israel? Does that mean that something is about to happen for the nation of Israel? Some people say, could it be the rapture? Well, it, it's possible. If you know your Bible, you know the rapture comes... And after the rapture is the seven-year tribulation. Now, why is it seven years? Well, it's the seven-year tribulation because this is the final week of Daniel. Daniel, back here under the law, old Daniel was a prophet, and God gave Daniel a prophecy of 490 years. 483 years of that have taken place. So there's a missing seven years. So this final seven years people have been waiting for in history, and it's going to be taking place after the rapture. And that's when God goes back to dealing with the Jews or with Israel.
who are actually called Hebrews. So could this be God giving a sign in heaven to the Jews? Hey, here's the...